The Galaxy Z Fold 7 is breaking Samsung tradition, and for once, it's not a bad thing. There's a ton of new info on this phone, and it might finally give Samsung's foldables the upgrade they deserve. Let's dive in. What's up, guys? A Tief official here. So you might have heard, Google's releasing Android 16 way earlier than expected, targeting Q2 this year. And since Samsung's One UI runs on Android, they've got to keep up. Enter the Z Fold 7, the first Samsung device confirmed to ship with Android 16 and One UI 8, right out of the box. Big software shift. That's right, One UI 8 won't debut with the S series this time. It's launching on a Fold. Three months from now, the Z Fold 7 will have One UI 8, while most of Samsung's current flagships are still waiting for One UI 7. Talk about a power move. Hardware confirmed. This confirmation comes from a Geekbench listing, which shows the Z Fold 7 running Android 16 and powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite, the same chip in the S25 Ultra. And no, it's not a watered-down version. This is the full-fat top-tier chipset, no compromises. Taskbar Upgrade 1 UI 8 brings the auto-hide taskbar from One UI 7, a small change on paper but a big deal for usability. Before, the taskbar just sat there, hogging screen space. Now it disappears when you open an app, giving you a full immersive display. Swipe up gently to bring it back. Smoother, cleaner, and way overdue. Samsung's exclusivity problem now. Here's where Samsung stumbles. That now brief feature? Still not coming to the S24 or Z Fold 6. And honestly, it makes no sense. This isn't some hardware-heavy feature. Even budget phones could run it. Same goes for the new gallery search, which lets you type things like dog at the beach to find specific photos. Super useful, but locked to newer devices. No good reason. Just Samsung playing the exclusivity game. The Fold 7's big upgrades now. Back to the Z Fold 7. And this time, it's a major upgrade. Samsung's finally addressing years of complaints. Bigger displays? Check. Rumors point to an 8-inch inner screen and a 6.5-inch outer display. Both larger than before. And yes, it's wider too. No more awkward, narrow front screen. Crease and camera improvements. The crease? Minimized and this isn't just marketing. The Fold Special Edition already showed it's possible and the Fold 7 is following suit. The camera setup is also getting a boost with the same 200-megapixel main sensor as the S25 Ultra. The under-display selfie cam is reportedly improved too, though we don't know the specs yet. Thinner design, trade-offs. Here's the catch. The camera bump is bigger, but the phone itself is way thinner. 4.5 millimeters unfolded, 9.5 millimeters folded. That's a huge reduction from the Fold 6. I'll take a slightly bigger bump for a sleeker phone any day. Battery and extras. Now, the one downside. The battery's still 4,400 mAh, not great for a foldable this size. But the Fold Special Edition matched the Fold 6's battery life despite being larger, so there's hope for optimizations. Other upgrades? Better speakers, a larger vapor chamber for cooling, and a redesigned S Pen, though still no built-in slot. Final Thoughts Bottom line, the Z Fold 7 looks like the biggest leap forward in years. Bigger screens, better cameras, thinner design, and one UI 8 out of the gate. It's not revolutionary, but it's fixing the pain points. Want to know what one UI 8 actually brings? Click here for that Samsung's breakdown, about to drop and an I'll update see you that's there. Not just smart. What do you it's think of the Z Fold sexy. 7? Killer Excited security, or still skeptical? Stunning new visuals. Drop your thoughts one UI below, is coming, and don't forget and to like and subscribe level. for more updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.